The manager of Main Street, Gordon, is speaking out tonight just one week after he submitted his two-week notice to the mayor and council. In an interview with 41 NBC's Tucker Sargent, Bruce Daniel explains why he's calling it quits. Mr. Daniel is leaving the position he took over about a year ago. Now, this all started with a disagreement over the city's annual Fall Line Festival. To guarantee a fireworks show, we have to guarantee the band, we have to guarantee uh, the tents, the dance floor, things like that. And right now, we just don't have that kind of ability as a better hometown to guarantee that payment, not knowing the financial future of the city. Main Street Gordon manager Bruce Daniels says when he suggested to Mayor Mary Whippleu there not be a Fall Line Festival this October, she said it would go on anyway and that she was appointing a city council member to serve as liaison between Main Street Gordon and council. We've never had a city council person to oversee our affairs. The manager has always been that person who has dealt with the city council. Daniel writes in his resignation letter, Rather than place the Main Street program in an unfavorable position with the city, I have chosen to resign. He says it's just been tough lining up sponsors and vendors for the festival because no one wants to commit. We have serious concerns about safety. We have serious concerns about the financial future of the city. Daniel says the city can't even pay back Main Street Gordon for repairs it's done around town. This week, he put this message up on the Gordon Better Hometown sign. It's what he says is an attention grabber. I had to get a sign to the mayor that we need our money to pay our bills. And uh, right now, uh, they owe us $3,100 for expenses to the Discovery Center that was approved by city council. Uh, we've sent all the required paperwork, uh, the bids. City council's approved it, but we still have no check. Now, Daniel's last day as manager is a week from today, actually, on May 19th. He will stay on board as board chairman. Now, the city will hire a new manager in the coming months. Now, as for that payment they're still waiting on from the city, council did approve that. We spoke with City Councilman Terry Eady tonight. He says he's seen the check and it's written out, but no one signed it yet. We did try and meet up with the mayor tonight. It was after 5, so City Hall was locked. We, of course, will stay on this story and give her the opportunity to speak on it.